from your from your vantage point, uh, you know, I think a lot of us took took it for granted the offense would be kind of pick up where it left off last year. From your vantage point, how do you what do you think needs to improve on that end of the floor to kind of get things going more fluid on offense? Uh, obviously, time. Um, you know, just trying to get accustomed to the system, uh, player movement, ball movement, especially a system like this, it takes time. And uh, you know, it'll come. We just can't. Uh, we just can't fight it. You know, sometimes we fight it trying to get the uh, quickest open shot, you know. So it's about us turning um, good shots down for greatness. And that'll, that'll come. I'm not worried about that. Alan Tunis is, is obviously a, a very good rebounder. Um, a lot of offensive rebounds for them these last two games. What needs to be better on that in that area specifically, do you think, going forward? Uh, us getting the rebound. Technique boxing out, or who the fuck? What is it? I was getting the rebound, <laughs> whatever it takes. How did you see um, the team respond when things aren't going their way? Maybe with officiating not getting the calls they agree with. How do you kind of stay glued and composed and, and focused on what's going on? I was waiting on this day. I told them before the game that uh, <clears throat> today will be the hardest game that we have played this season, and um, I knew it. I mean, you know, just from experience. You know, team lose three games in a row. They're on the road. Just they've been in you know Minnesota for two, three days. Of course, they're gonna want to win. You know, so uh, played out just how I wanted to. Um, uh, something you learn from is just one game. Uh, but again, you don't want these games to come back and haunt you at the end. What do you think of Ant in that third quarter and kind of pulling the team back in? And what's it like to have multiple guys, I guess, in your team who can kind of go on runs like that to pull you back in when you need it? And we lost. None of that matters. Matt, what's the uh, – it's, it's obviously so important to you and to this team to, to play with an energy um, and at, at that high level, but mm -hmm. also being able to control emotions. What is – does that balance? Obviously, you talk to some of the guys on the bench about, you know, when the right – when it's the time to talk and when it's the time not to talk. How, how do you go about finding that balance? Uh, a game of basketball is an emotional game. Regardless, uh, officiate, things might go your way, things might not stay even kill. Uh, you know, have emotion, but don't be emotional. And I think for the first quarter, we were really emotional, especially with the refs, and that kind of led to, you know, giving them a little confidence and, uh, you know, offensive rebounds and us not getting back in transition. But, you know, those are things we can always fix. So I'm not really too worried about that. Matt, when you talk to Carl at the end of the first quarter and then early in the second quarter, really talk to the entire team um, on the bench and you come out and you hit a three right right after that and just kind of setting the tone for those guys, just, you know, from your perspective, what did you see out of, out of your teammates as a leader that was encouraging to you? Um, I mean, the game of basketball, you can't disrespect it. Uh, I felt like for the most part that uh, – our preparation and we kind of, you know, disrespected the game, but <clears throat> I mean, that, that comes with time. And, uh, you know, you disrespect the game, the game will come back and get you, and it did tonight. So uh, preparation is important. Being locked in is important. Being locked in is key. Uh, staying calm, staying poised, all those things that, you know, you have to go through through experience, you know, which most veteran teams, winning teams, winning coaches do. And uh, we just came up short tonight. And uh, like I told the guys, this one game, don't overreact, go on, continue with your same habits. But, you know, we got to get that back on the road, and we will. We'll go to one question on the Zoom. Jim, go ahead. Pat, were you disappointed in terms of the start, in terms of those first two quarters? Uh, it was really the third quarter that was the only really quarter that you won there tonight. Yeah, I was disappointed the whole thing. I'm always disappointed when I lose. Awesome. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, everyone. Thank you guys so much. Have a great night. Thanks, Pat. Yeah.